Let's see what's inside. Oh boy, that was terrible. Actually, oh no, it's just, I thought they put little indentations in it to make it easy to open, but they didn't. During the little Amazon Prime Day thing, these were also cheaper than usual on eBay. And Anchor has these on there. It didn't come with the, uh, the little cover and everything, but it was good to me. Uh -huh. If you buy, I think it was $30 worth or more, you save 20% off, which I was like, well, I could, I can do that. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the gray color because you have to buy certain things in order to get that 20% off. So a little disappointing, but whatever. You get your happy, not happy, and what to do? Okay, so those two. And finally, this one. $7.99, $11.99. They're all basically the same except this one. Hmm. It's fun. Comes with two little anchor things on the side. Now, if you get a power bank, you don't get these nice cables. So just keep that in mind. Anchor has nice cables, but they don't come with the power bank. So I'll plug those in a little later. I can tell you two things right now. One, it's hot outside. And two, this is getting DDWRT installed on it immediately. Also, I'm not gonna use that, so maybe I'll give away the three month, maybe. Details in the description or something, I don't know. We'll see. All I know is that I'm hungry, hot, and this is brand new from eBay. Don't pay full price for this because I got this for 130, so hopefully the price doesn't like skyrocket anytime soon. Let's check out this box. This box is pretty nice. Look at that. Uh, all that information that you can't read. Look at all that information. Okay, kick off your Xbox experience. This is basically the exact same router. They just have Xbox written all over it, and then they give you the, the 30 whatever. Victory is yours. Maybe I'll remember to do the Stewie thing, but I probably won't. Ooh, hold up, before I even get there. Nice. Foam padding, that's what I'm talking about. Quality padding, too. All right, so that's that. Hopefully you didn't read it. We'll give you that three months later, or I'll give it to my friend, one or the other. You'll know, because I would have edited that part. Here it is, brand new. They have refurbished ones, but they're like $20 less. So, I mean, just get a new one for 130 instead of 119 I didn't, I didn't put that in focus, but it's okay. Cause it was in focus. I thought this was a CD. <laughs> okay, I got my password and stuff. Uh, yeah, you can't read that, cool. Yeah, simple instructions. Victory begins in six easy steps. And then you get your, your blades, your antennas, four of them. These are smaller than the Asus ones I have, or Asus ones I have up there. And what's below here? Quality foam. Look at that, it's, it's three, or two and a half layers, look at that. Anyway, a flat cable, oh, yo, laces, a flat cable, that's what I'm talking about. All the cables I have replaced, I replaced with flat ones, and these are flat, that is wonderful. Let's see what cat it is. Is it written on here somewhere? I'll assume it's not cat six, I'll just assume that, but it's flat. I wasn't expecting a flat cable, most time you get that blue, yellow cable that's human, or white or gray, cable that's just humongous and circular flat that's what i'm talking about and here's the power brick or the power adapter this is not a brick because it actually works and doesn't hold the house up <clears throat> and regulatory and warranty information okay very nice okay. that's online and i think that's that's it yep that's it that's the whole box all right so maybe today maybe tomorrow that will be running good old ddwrt it, it's such a wonderful thing to run and the reason why i got this was because my Asus was acting up ever since a iPad got into the house. Mm. All right, I'm installing DDWRT on here. I almost thought there wasn't a way to do it, but I literally did this first on the firmware page. It looks like it's done. There's two files that you're gonna get on their website, so you know how to find that. There's the web flash. I did that one, manual update. I did that first. And then there's the image. So one's a bin file, B-I-N, one's an image file. Just so I can make that clearer. And so this one and that one. And then first you upload it, and then it's gonna take its time and then you come back and then it'll say update update and then here we are with update complete which 
It's not clicking. But I hear you have to wait. So I'm gonna let it continue. I'll be back later. All right, just got out of the shower. See how close I can get. Go ahead and just reload the page and then you'll see this. Oh yeah. So uh, it's that easy. Enjoy. And remember, you can get it on eBay. Real low price. Now I hope I can make the lights go totally dim. That'd be great. At it again. All right, so all I did was go to the website, DDWRT, grab the thing for this particular router, and all I did was do the firmware upgrade, which is right below here. Um, you'll see a little button that says upload, and then you can pick the file, and I started it here. So as you can see, it's, it's working. I think the old method, you had to do something different, but with this router, I didn't have to do that so far. So we'll see how it goes. It, there's the upload button right there. See, see where it says current version and then manual firmware update. It's right there, that little upload button. No. So don't do what I just did. <clears throat> I had to do the thing and recover it, so don't do that. Don't go through all that. All right, so let's try this again. Sorry, it won't work from there. Oh, mouse wasn't on. All right, it's gonna be one of these, not that one. Come on, it was just working a second ago. Hey. All right, I got it going. So you'll be greeted with this after you do the recovery. Apparently I have to install I'll show it to you. This router, which you can't see, I'm pointing at it. This router, I'm, I'm installing this DDWRT on here. This thing has really ticked me off just now. I'm on this computer in here, and then in the other room, I have the old laptop sitting in there, and I, you know, put everything in there so that I could do everything real slowly and just let it sit in there and let it do what it needs to do. But for some reason, I set the password. This was an old problem. I set the password on this thing, and then I know what I type because I'm good at it. <laughs> and so I type the same thing to set the password i go over there i type in the same thing and it's like oh that's an invalid password how i only type in one password for this and so yeah i'm just gonna get this thing installed on here and call it a day because over here i can type in the password i better be able to type in this password right now mm -hmm. no, i will type it in myself thank you firefox right, hold on this bull crap all right, you, you, you see it working? I am installing the Brain Slayer. Um, make sure you look that up, good luck. Maybe I'll have it in the description. I probably won't, but I'm gonna let it do that. And then I'll have DDWRT on here. I tried to set this up as an access port, but that didn't really work. Yep. Okay, look, Brain Slayer will lead you to this. And then I probably just need to go to administration and stuff, but I don't have time, I gotta go. I had some strange issues with passwords with this thing, so I had to adjust the way I do passwords. I'm not gonna go into any further details, but if you're using one of these and you've reset the firmware back to factory, and then you do the Brain Slayer ASUS, in this case, RTAC68U firmware, and then update the firmware to the latest DDWRT firmware, you might want to consider not doing a complicated password. It can still be long, but don't make it complicated. Hopefully you get the gist of that. But oh, it's upgrading. All right, it looks like it's done. So you'll see this screen, you know, it looks like that. You can actually recover from here. So it's like, like a recovery. And so you just reboot and now it should be updated. Let's see. It, it, it takes a little while. Mm, it might be done. Wait, I, I just did the reboot thing, oops. There we go. And now I can get started. So I'm not gonna show you how to do, um, to make this a repeater so that that signal goes to this. Uh, good luck, you're on your own. Um, recover from here so it's like having like a, a recovery yeah it's like like a recovery and then you come back and then it'll say install or update update recovery yeah it's like